Welcome to Otherwise, guys. What cool you for? Right now, I got Grammy nominated. Uh, one half of Field Mob, Sean J. Right now, yeah. What's up? I get the Grammy nominated. Yeah. Hey man, a lot of people don't know. You know what I hate about that shit? What? That's some bullshit. I don't even give a fuck about. Like the Grammys and shit. Yeah. Them got to send me that goddamn invitation. I ain't even go. But a lot of people don't know. Twice. I ain't just one time nominated. No fight. I done wrote songs for somebody. I know for George. Okay. I know for George. What was the other? Uh, let's just say I wrote a song for somebody I'm not cool with. Yeah. And they got nominated. And won. They ain't seen nothing. Yeah, no, nah, niggas ain't built like that. Yeah. Niggas ain't gonna give you nothing. Man, listen, everybody is selfish. I don't give a fuck what nobody say until you show me somebody different. Yeah. You selfish. How you get 10,000? Like, okay, you got 10 bands in your pocket. Yeah. And if you can take your money and fan it up your sleeve like this, if you be with people and they cannot do that, you really a bitch ass nigga. Damn. Don't show me. Don't show me who shy's be doing that. Flip the camera around to the person that that's not on camera. Show me him doing that. The whole team got to eat. If you can do it and he can't do it, it better be because he didn't want to. I don't, that shit ain't special to me. That shit goofy. Really, that shit goofy. So what? So what? Like, what do you see with the the new game, uh, the new rap game? What you think about it then? Since you saying that, first of all, like what I do was just saying off camera. Yeah, I ain't the old head, jealous of the younger. I don't give a fuck, but I do see that it's more pussy than it's ever been, and they can take it how they want. I still can fight. It's pussy. Yeah. Rap is pussy. Your favorite rapper right now is pussy. He's pussy. He's a whole bitch. Now, the only way we can see if he a whole bitch or not if he a whole bitch, we can run through the question then. What make him a bitch? Okay. Let's see. Are we speaking reality or rap world? <laughs> In the rap world, Everyone's a pimp. Everyone got the baddest bitches. Everybody gangster in the rap world, but in the real world, all right. Show me the nigga in anybody's camp that says, "Bro, I ain't ready to die yet." See, that's not in the real world. You know, they gon' that's when they only time they might say that. Uh huh. Where's that at? Where's the person that said? So you mean tell me all these niggas and all the entourages is prepared to die? I don't think so. We see you can't fight. You skip the fighting stage. The new generation ain't fighting nothing. They know they gonna get an ass with that. We ain't got no win. Niggas out here drinking syrup and popping Molly. You ain't got no win. Yeah. No. So I think people pussy. I think the new generation is sad and ignorant, stupid, stupider than my generation, and stupider than the stupid generation before my generation. Right now, nigga, you want to be the number one artist in the world? All you gotta do is point, it, point your fingers at the camera. Like, what is this in every song? We got more niggas. Oh, come on, everybody in rap is a killer right now, and ain't nobody got no murders under their belt. <laughs> And none of them shot shit. All them guns they rapping by, you ain't never shot that gun. You gonna squint like a bitch when you shoot that thing for the first time. Cause you ain't never had, you ain't never killed nothing. You ain't never stood over nothing and killed them. And if y'all had killed something, it ain't for no real reason. Yeah. You from Jacksonville, right? All day, Duval County. You from Jack and Kill from. The only thing I can say about you and everybody gonna get mad at me, but like I said, I don't care. You from a place where you need to have a pistol. Yeah. I'm in Auburn, Georgia. I don't need a pistol. I got one. But ain't nobody gonna this shit green. Murder is man. Let me see how can I say it intellectually. 
you doing something wrong if you can't go to the store without a pistol. You did something wrong. You lost your respect. Somebody don't respect y'all worth a damn. Yeah. Nigga shooting at you in the mall. Damn. What got you, uh, because I know you, you come down to Duval a lot, so when did you start coming to Jacksonville? I'm selling. I was, I had another job I was doing in like 05. I've been coming to Duval since like 03. I used to be like a uh, delivery man. Yeah. I right, go pick up something. Rest in peace to a man named Mob Boss. He was my brother. But that's why I fuck with Duval like that. Okay, I fuck with Mob Boss. Shout out to uh, Mob Squad. No. Forever. Yes, sir. Forever. That boy That boy fed a lot of... See, it, it, I don't even know how to have... Shit. First of all, shout out to the other guys podcast for letting me even come on y'all shit. Your shit, your platform. But I really want to talk yeah. about the difference. Because see... Right now, if you ain't in Jacksonville, if you ain't in Jacksonville, if you ain't in motherfucking New Orleans, and if you are not in Indiana, I'm having a hard time believing that you ain't pussy and you just talk. See, they dying. If you want to know who really in the street, how many dead bodies your team got? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Indiana, Jacksonville, Baton Rouge, New Orleans area, they really up and shit, bro. They they laying shit down, bro, and have been doing that. Nowadays, a, a, a chopper just like my cell phone. You know, you ever been on the internet and you see a motherfucker like, ooh, I got the new iPhone. It do this. Well, if you can't afford that iPhone, and you keep scrolling, you see another nigga. Look at my rolly. Brand new Rolly, you can't afford the Rolly. You keep scrolling, you see a bitch. Look at these ass shots I got. Look at these ass shots I got. Look at these ass shots. You can't afford that. Yeah. So if you ain't, you can't afford the Jordans. So you ain't got no motion going in your life. You can afford to say you got a pistol. That's what everybody do. Everybody want to point at the, the, the camera and do this. I'm witness. I get shot. That's why I don't watch YouTube video. I get tired of getting shot with imaginary guns. Yeah. Nobody ain't really coming out like having those songs talking about coming from that like Project Dream like how y'all did. You know what I'm saying? Like, And I don't want it to be misconstrued that it's supposed to be the way I did. Yeah. I don't give a fuck how you do it. It's just so happens. If you did it and I can see it, I can speak on it. Talent is fifth place now. It used to be if you had talent first. You don't need no talent now. Talent is some shit they ain't, these niggas ain't got. They ain't even studying on talent. Now, and in, in their defense, a lot of niggas got to do this, bro. See, and, and, and the real street niggas, them ain't the people. I feel sorry for the real street niggas. Because if you kill one of mine, I'm going to kill one of yours. And if I kill one of yours, you're going to want to kill one of mine. So that cycle, back and forth forever. Yeah. But here's where the shit get fucked up. The shit get fucked up when you put people that ain't living that life in the mix. Those are the people that get killed. Them the bodies. The innocent bystanders. No, 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 sir. There's no such thing as an innocent bystander. What? You think that? I'm just asking. I don't believe in the innocent bystander. Half of the innocent bystanders ain't innocent. Okay. Now, if it's a child or somebody like that, that's innocent. Yeah, okay. But if you the motherfucker yelling, fight, 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 when two niggas start fighting, oh, and yeah. that straight bullet hit you, congratulations. Don't waste that good ass bullet. Yeah. Yeah, let that bullet hit you. I believe in that. I don't, I don't believe in bullshit, bro, and this all this is. I, shout out to the white folks. The white folks have. I just think y'all are genius. I want to say shout out to the crooked white people. God damn, I, I think you are geniuses. I love it. I, I see what you did. I see how you're doing it. 
And I love it. So you got us in uh, Platinum Sound Studios right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry I shouldn't get this better. My name's Sean J from Field Mob. I'm one, I'm one of the greatest rappers ever to live. Bar for bar, I could beat your favorite rapper and make him look like he ain't said nothing because he really ain't. But I'm from Albany, Georgia, 229. I'm at the world famous Platinum Sound Recording Studio. This is the birthplace of the Albany, Georgia sound. That's Sean J. That's Chevy P. That's new generation, old generation. I'm talking about Southern Click. I'm to my big nod. I'm to my old E. You know, I'm to my quasi star folk. I'm to my motherfucking. There's so many talented voices here. Yeah. You won't even know about it. It's like Jacksonville. Yeah, y'all got a lot on too, man. Yeah, we do. We got, we got a lot on, man. It's like Jacksonville, the hot spot right now. I, yeah, if you want I mean, outside of the A. I've know. been going all the time. Yeah. I don't like how y'all, you know what I think? That shit gay too. I hate when people be like Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta. As if it's just that now. You know, when people say Atlanta, they thinking they I mean it's like the surrounding areas. Atlanta is like the flagship of, of Georgia. Like that's what you don't gotta be from Atlanta, but you gonna rep it because like I'm surprised I, you were up Albany. You could have rap you could have rapped Atlanta. Fuck that. The fuck I look like. I'm just saying. I could never. That's I, how they do though, ain't it? Bro, I ain't from there. I'm from Albany, Georgia. I beat a bitch ass about this shit. I'm not finna. I'm. I'm not finna represent Atlanta. Who all the Jeezy did that? Why right? y'all think Jeezy did? Yeah. I mean, that's him. That's David Banner. Whoever. That's on them if they want to do that. Gotcha. I ain't from there. I'm from Albany, motherfucking Georgia. Two two nine. I'm from Dorothy County. Um, that that's that's Georgia to me. So what's what's the origins of a field mall? Like what was the the start of the group? Man, man, man. Okay, it's two stories. It's the bullshit story that one of us gonna tell you, and then it's the real truth. I wanted the truth, right then. You should because listen, if you hear the bullshit story, it's so entertaining. I wanted the truth. Damn. You do realize that means people not finna like me even more, and I'm slick like that. But okay, look, bottom line is this: Phil Marley's from Albany, Georgia, and what happened was I had experienced fame. Fuck that! One day, man, I was sitting around town, sixteen years old, seventeen, and they had this thing on the radio, Grady Keys. You could rap, you could call in and sing your for five minutes. Yeah. And rap or sing, and I was bored, and I heard people do it. So I was like, "Man, I'm gonna call the radio station, and I'm gonna just fire everybody up, just fire their ass up." So that's what I did. I called, and I told them I was gonna sing some shit called "The Greatest Love." Still to this day, I don't even know who sings "The Greatest Love." I don't know, but I was I was saying that's what I was gonna sing. So when the time to start singing, I started rapping. And all the callers, the people that called, they had wrote their name down. And I started joking on their ass. It's about the greatest love of, like, Whitney Houston's greatest love? Whitney motherfucking, fucking shit. I love Whitney. I got to see Whitney Houston on a plane, coked up one time. I was actually, me and Ludacris sitting in the plane, and she was, like, tapping the seat, like, singing, I got some peanuts. I bet if Chris see this, he gonna laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got to see her having a geek tweak moment. She was tweaking bad. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Shout out Whitney. That's in heaven. But I'm from Albany, Georgia, man. That's that's just what it is. I uh I knew I could rap and I had took over that radio show. They gave me a radio show after that called Who Got the Flavor? Where you call in and people would call in and try to battle me. Yeah. Nobody ever beat me. Ever. Ever. Even today, won't nobody beat me. Today, right now. Who is your favorite rapper? Go get your Eminem's. Go get your Wayne. Hey, whoever it is. Fuck with Lupe Fiasco now. I ain't gonna lie. I love Lupe, but I'm gonna tell you some, some shit. I'm gonna eat Lupe Fiasco ass alive. No homo pause. But I'm, I'm, I'm gonna eat his ass alive for one reason. Go ahead. People that seem to rap like in the Eminem category, they just be a bunch of words. Gotcha. See, I'm I could do that better than them because nine out of times out of ten, I started that. Yeah. 
I just like to talk about something. I'm not being into message. It. Yeah, yeah, I could easily cram 50 syllables together and beep, 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 beep. that's cool. No. I really let Eminem do that though. Because if Eminem do that, it's cool. I'm too fucking smart. I got too much dirt blood under my nails to be wasting my time just even if even if rapping the rap, man. I wanna talk about something. I've been a leader. I don't know how to follow people. Shit, that uh that nothing to lose from the Rooter to the Tudor off the Rooter to the Tudor album. That was a that was like a huge message at the time. Like I used to listen to that. I like, appreciate it. Back and forth every fucking day. Not one of my favorite that's one of my favorite feel mom songs ever. Cause when nobody rapping about that. That nigga say one day things gonna change for better. Lord knows it can't rain forever. That's what I told my mama. That nigga say three days later, master sold my mom. I wanted you to feel what a slave felt like. Woo. And that was my biggest thing was addressing that issue at the time. But that shit like now though, like people really like, you know, like shit gonna change, you know what I'm saying? Change, it's, things change, it's just slowly. Yeah. Shit changes, man. It's slowly. I mean, look, let's be real. You still got black people right now. Cause we're gonna talk around it. Live in the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are getting it in and out, but you can still got black people that think we were stolen from Africa. Yeah, like we still, you probably, you can still got black people that feel like we were stolen and abducted from Africa. You're stupid. Your mom is stupid. Your grandma, if bless her soul, if she did, she died stupid. Explain. Well. If they put down the phone and they actually did some history, how can a black person be stolen from? How can you how can you be the first person on the planet Earth and you're everywhere? You're on the planet everywhere, right? But somebody tells you, oh man, we just came from Africa, man. So you feel like, oh, okay, so. We just some dumbass Africans who didn't explore the whole world. So where we came from? Where they got us from? It depends on what your blood got like, on, bro. You was already here. You was already here in America. <laughs> you was already in Egypt. You was already had migrated out to Europe. You have already this world is yours. Yeah. But if a motherfucker come tell you, hey man. Your little dumb nigga ass was in Africa. And the only reason, this is how stupid this is now. The only reason black people is in America is because a cracker brought us over there. You believe that? You believe that? <laughs> Even though populated areas show you clearly that we are the dominant species on the planet in every area. Just think about this shit now. Shit, you got me thinking now, man. I think that the thing about my black people and, and, and we lazy thinkers. Yeah. Blacks are lazy thinkers. We want to be told, oh man, Harriet Tubman did this. All right. What if that's a lie? Yeah. What if it's a lie, buddy? I'm one of them people that if you lie to me once, I can forgive you and I got to watch you. Yeah. You lie to me twice. I'm going to forgive you, but I definitely got to watch you. <laughs> you lie to me three times. I forgive you, but I know now not to trust you at all. Yeah. So, all right, so if you lie to me and tell me that there was a white man in Africa, the only white man ever existed in Africa that walked in Africa, you tell me that. Yeah. That don't sound right to me, so that's one lie. Yeah. Now you tell me that on Easter, to celebrate the fake God that you 
just got caught lying to me about. On Easter, rabbits lay eggs like chickens. That's two lies, and that lie is comical. That's it. Funny. How should I even believe that? That's kind of stupid, right? Yeah. Then third and foremost, if you tell me that there's a Catholic priest, not just one Catholic priest, not two, not three, not four, not five. If you tell me that all Catholic priests throughout history have had sex with little boys, how can I align myself with believing you? How can I do that? So, how? Okay. How can I do it? The Pope. You got plenty of people. That, you got plenty of people that love and worship the Pope, Catholics and Christians. If you're a Catholic and you're a Christian, you support fucking little boys in the ass. My mama is a Christian. She supports fucking little boys in the ass. How can she say she does? And is she trying to stop that? Like no. you say, they lazy. They don't want to look into what's, what's yeah, really going yeah. on. Yeah, so your God, they God fuck people in the ass and charge a monthly fee like he got an OnlyFans page. That's so, all I see. <laughs> so, I so how like in tune are you with into the universe? Because I seen one interview with a uh, radio show to be high. He was, uh, he said, well, you said you called Smoke and you told him, you know, his only option was to like trust you on his music shit, or or he basically come back home, you know, working at Hardee's and. Uh, as far as in tune with the universe, I wouldn't say this would be a good example of my in tuneness with the universe. Because at the time when I told Smoke that, yeah. you got to know my brutally honest. Yeah. At the time I told Smoke that, I just had a strongly good feeling. Okay. Yeah, I hate when a person be, I ain't going to give you that fake shit, I'm telling you. <laughs> I just kind of look at shit. My biggest talent is the perspectives I look at. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't have no solid perspective. The way I see this phone today... I, in my opinion, 20 more hours of thought, I should see something I haven't seen. Yeah. And if there is nothing else, if I see everything and I say, okay, that's a camera. If there's nothing else, yeah. then I should start, come on, you come in, let's just walk right by. Let's walk right by. Then I should have a perspective that challenges my opinion. Yeah. I just don't like how people just get on one thing and you ain't got to hide, you walk right in, you is good, good, good. I, I just don't like how people perspective on something. Whoa. I already know you don't drink. I know you don't drink. I used to, man. Yeah. But I did have that conversation with Smoke. I actually, I told him, because uh, Smoke was a, 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 like a good football. He was a great athlete. We went to Monroe High. Y'all should look him up. I went with Deion Sanders. He, I mean, Deion Sanders. I'm tripping. Deion Branch. Forgive me. He later on went to win MVP for the Patriots. Uh, I didn't play. I, I didn't see Milk Man. I mean, best of all in football, I went to Monroe. Yeah. So Monroe, how we made legends. You know what I'm saying? I can go for everyone from Derrick Green, Marvin Simmons, Ratchet, uh, Keith and Kevin Samuel, Kevin Page. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I got some dogs. Like, you know what I'm saying? John Strong, people who I, Joe Page, people who I grew up with. We breed motherfucking monsters down there in Monroe now. Yeah. That's just fact. But with me and Smoke, I, I, I also looked at people had better scores on their test papers than me. And they graduated, went to college, and came back to work at Hardy's. Yeah. I didn't want to do that. I never thought that was the move. I don't know why. I never thought working like my mom and daddy was good. My mom and daddy bust their ass, and I ain't seen nothing from that. You had a different perspective. You kept looking at it. You had to see it. I was poor, poor. Yeah. Yeah, I got to be, I had the blessing of being poor. That's a blessing you do realize. Yeah. Yeah. Poor is a blessing. You got, it's a couple in the other room. You can say something. Poor is a blessing. Because you notice you don't hear poor people killing themselves? Mm. You hear rich people killing themselves? You don't really hear no poor people killing themselves because we already poor. We already know. <laughs> it was broke Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday ain't no different. Mm-hmm. 
So what? Uh, what you doing right now? So what? What? What is your relationship with with Smoke? Y'all still good? Cause I remember last I checked, y'all. I pretty smoke. much, I think pretty much Smoke hate my guts. Cause y'all was about to drop an album. Cause when y'all like working on it, like last well, last well, year or two years ago, I want to say it had to be two. Cause I look bro, real selfish. He's a very selfish person, and that's some shit he gotta work on. So but that would have been. I don't know how to answer about smoke because this is how I feel. And you tell me what it is. You can ask. You can ask. Yeah. For one, I love smoke. I'm a love smoke until I die. I know it's gonna give a fuck about it. 100%. But that's okay because he never gave a fuck about it. Damn. We have to think about these things. I'm just telling you the truth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I challenge you. To find one thing on the internet where smoke mentions me in a positive way. Yeah. If you watching this interview, show me one. If you can show me one, I can give you five dollars right now. One time. Once. Listen, you've been rocking how many years? Over 20? Show me one. Show me one. From but Ashley to Classy, though, from the Buddha to Tudor. You have to understand I'm a very talented Light person. Light pole and pine trees. I'm an extremely gifted person. If yeah. you knew me and you was trying to rap, you better shut your motherfucking mouth and stand as close to me as possible. Anybody. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm, I'm that, though. Like, I'm that. I'm going to do it. I, I can do it easy. I can, a hit song ain't nothing to me. Classic. Some of the biggest songs ever. I never even wrote it. I never even wrote Sick of Being Lonely. I never even wrote All I Know. Mm. You didn't have to write them. I knew what it was. My thoughts. I trusted you. You experienced it. Now, now, does that mean that I like to look at the Me and Smoke thing as sibling rivalry? Except for like, come on, let's look at Kane and Abel. Do you think Abel even knew you think he knew his brother was plotting up something? Mm. See, everybody tells the story so fast. You don't ask questions. I lived as Abel so long. Damn. Do you think he even knew? Damn. I got the best verse on this song. Even though I didn't think I had the best verse, I just tried to do my personal best. And somebody walks up to you and you're plotting and they say a line from the song. And they don't say his line, they say your line. To me, wow, they like my shit. Of course I'm not going to think about the other person thinking, my shit was hard. Yeah. And this just keep happening. Or, or small thing, I remember me and Smoke was making the first album. And this just... This is what Phil Mark came down to be in the end. I promise to God, this is what Phil Mark ended up being. Imagine you and somebody talking about making an album and the structure of the album. And you say, she, we not going to do no female record with our solo record. Because I'm like, this way they'll understand the differences between us and it'll show off how creative we is. And, we, and they agree on that. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then, when it comes time to listen to the song, the solo song, guess what you hear? Your partner went in there and did the exact opposite. He went in there and he recorded a girl song. Cool. Damn, I to that, but I feel like you hit. It was a hit to me. This girl record was a hit to me, right? What girl, what girl record? I mean, classic bitch. I like the record, right? I'll make it for you. I chose to make a song called Channel 613, Jumping Through the Channels, our TV. Let me show you how this plays out when you be two faced. Well, he's a Gemini, so he's supposed to be two faced. Listen. So, both of us make these songs. When the Source Magazine reviewed the album, 
One more interesting fucking thing that happened. They only named one song on the album that they felt like did not have to be on the album. Do you know what song that was? The Pastor? So I, I got another question. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you can't interrupt this one. This is called You Got What the Fuck You Deserve. <laughs> so I, I challenge anybody to Google the Source magazine, Phil Mark's first review. They said that Dimes, basically, they didn't have to hear that song ever again. It sounded kind of redundant. That's what they said. And the song that they said was worth buying the album alone. Was the song I did going through the channels. So see, I didn't actually have to do nothing to slow. It's just it has true what the book says. Your enemies will be your footstool. Now, I didn't tell him he was my footstool, nor do I feel like it. But if he feels like the best view of my heels. Is what he's getting, then he gonna have a personal problem. Yeah. I don't think smoke hates me. It's just come on, man. Imagine you sneaking or you stabbing me in my back and doing shit behind my back, yeah. and I don't know. I'm green as fuck to it, right? I imagine if it never works. Never works. No matter what you do, this shit don't work. What you think you gonna love me or hate me? You gonna be mad as hell. And I think that's what being smoke. I think. Smoke lost himself trying to compete with me because you know it might take smoke 10 hours to do a verse, it takes me 10 minutes, and it's always like this. Not not to discredit his talent, now that motherfucker bad if you sit there and write, yeah. What we all it's good. just what made smoke and my relationship hinder is because. At the time, I, I wasn't comfortable in my own skin as smoke was. Gotcha. I used to look like look to smoke to learn and, and certain things. He was younger than me, a year younger than me. But over the time, it would be funny because it ended up being smoke that let me know I was one of the best to ever do this shit. Yeah. That no doubt in my mind now, you can't put smoke on a song with me right now because. Come on, let's just be honest. I eat smoke on any song we on right now. I'll eat your favorite rapper. We can go. My, my friends, I got several friends that rap. I yeah. love MJ being eight ball. I wouldn't advise competing on a song with me. Anybody. Yeah. This is anybody. Well, do you feel like, yeah, like let's, let's just say you then. Do you feel like you was overrated? At, or if you think it was because of the humor or because of the Southern hospitality y'all would put into the, the music? I don't think any of that is to blame. I simply think that something cursed cannot be blessed. If your hate for me is big and you are ignoring all of these multi-million dollar opportunities and you don't see my value and you're standing right next to me and you, you, you hate me, I don't think the God that I look up to and love is going to bless that because they know that you will turn worse. We have had several opportunities, bro. And and look at look at how it is. I don't really want to do nothing with nobody that got no kind of like sensitive emotion. Like if you do make it it's gonna just be more problems. Yeah, 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 man. And, and, and you can clearly see smoke fuck both my baby mom. My green ass didn't look at that as that was any animosity or nothing. See, I ain't go that deep into the. Uh, oh, that's okay. I ain't that's go okay. that deep into it. I wasn't with either of the two when he did. Damn it, man. He was trying to get you, get you there. Well, it was just a little jealousy. But then, you know, the number one statement a person say, I, you ain't got nothing to be jealous for. Nobody that get, that has to deal with another person's jealousy. Is ever gonna just you never just go to somebody and say, Yeah, I was jealous of you. You don't work like that. Pride ain't gonna let you do it. No. I mean, but we ain't gotta even talk. We can just ask. I'm life works funny. I'm 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 an introvert. I don't like the popular crowd. I don't look forward to I don't give a fuck really about what none of y'all got going on. If you're not in my world, you're not in my world. 
No, I, like, if Smoke drop a song tomorrow, you can look this up. This is fact. No matter what Smoke did to me, or does, or says, or lies, it doesn't matter. He can lie to you. It don't matter. If he drops a project, I support it. I'm retweeting and I'm reposting it because I know your children. I know your mama. I know your dad. I know your grandma. And your granddad. So you won with me, Smoke, but you lost with me. Yeah. You didn't have to. It's still to this day. Still to this day. You know, it's almost disrespectful for Smoke. Dis he disrespects himself speaking bad on me. Because if I spoke the truth of the three of my stories, I'll never tell you or no fucking media. I never tell none of y'all <laughs> yeah. the truth of the three of my. Yeah. Because his mama might not be here. His children can't think you don't want to hear the true story. Damn. They just don't want to know what you did. Some of the things you've done. But if it wasn't for smoke, I wouldn't be so in love with Sean and Jay. That's why I ain't mad at him. I'm never mad at him. Smoke just did a podcast with my partner, shout out to Darian. Uh, even a run, he just did a podcast and just pretty much lied to me just before I was straight. But it sounded so cute, it was so ah, man, you would have loved it. It, it. I would have been y'all today. I was like, damn, what's going on? You know what's the same? Like, the last I heard, y'all was coming if, up. If out. fake as fuck was a person, that you know, you know what I'm saying? If, but so he did the podcast, he dissing me, talking whatever, whatever, whatever. whatever. I didn't even respond. Why? My boy trying to go on an album run. He's trying to sell his product. Yeah. He felt like that. Just imagine, I'm not standing next to Sean J. So the best way to get Sean J. to help me promote my product, if he's not standing next to me, I'm going to diss him and talk about it. It's a new way of doing it. But you know I ain't going to say nothing about what you did because it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Like, come on, let's think about it. Let me just use a random example. Imagine if motherfucking, let's just say motherfucking, let's say all of a sudden, a motherfucker just came out. All right, let's just pick, let's just say, <laughs> let's just pick two rappers. Yeah. We got two rappers, man. And we got one rapper. You just say he's just super gang bang and he's just doing all this. Everybody loves him. Then we got this other rapper, he ain't the most popular. He's quiet, he's cool, he's double out. We don't give a shit about none of this shit. If you find out that, let's just say, oh, somebody was playing on your do the hole though. Niggas playing on your asshole. You ain't gonna work the game. It's like, you knew you knew that people were playing in his asshole. You know what I'm saying? But this nigga right here might already know you let niggas play in your asshole. But he just looking at you while you dissing him like, I don't think so. But you still let a man play in your booty hole. <laughs> in your asshole. <laughs> Yo, your, your, your real life asshole, not your rap asshole. Wait, we talking about real life? Your real life asshole. But, but <laughs> this is just an example. Example, okay. I'm just using this for an example to show you I can't diss Smoke because he dissed himself. Gotcha. There are things he did that I just would be ashamed to talk to my son about. Hey, you like, ever um, you ever met Pimp C? <laughs> I knew Pimp C. Yeah. You gotta share. You gotta share a ghetto story with me of you and Pimp C. Like something happened with you and Pimp C. I don't know about that, man. I'm kind of not like it. No, no, not bad. Like, like I mean, period. Gotcha. Period. It's, it's, it's even, it's even, uh, like an interview difficult for me, bro. Yeah. Because ain't nothing I got to lie about, but it's a lot I got to deflect. Like the Pimp C shit. If I go to talking about Pimp, 
I'm gonna fuck Ryan and somebody gonna be under the bus. Okay, okay, we can skip that. I've seen something in somebody, but I can't say that. Yeah. Because he's seen that. He knows what you did, or the type nigga you did, or whatever. And I don't like to hide behind the name. Gotcha. I don't so, like hiding behind the name, but I will say this I love him. Yeah. He invited us to his house. Um, he actually pointed out that my first manager was cheating me. And the record label, MCA Records, was cheating us. He pointed it out. He, 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 him seeking to have gotten money for dealing with film uh, and opted not to get paid just to deal with it. Cause he, but the label was spending money so they said that we had to pay his shit. Pimp. And they told us not to talk to Pimp. And as soon as I got in there, you can't tell me not to talk to somebody because as soon as you get me in there, guess what I'm going to do? Talk. I'm going to talk. And I did. <laughs> but Pimp C, uh. Good dude. Yeah, good dude. It, to me, because I don't think the world is mature enough. To understand that when you talk to people, somebody's gonna hate them. Mm -hmm. This is any and everybody. Someone's gonna love them. Somebody's gonna hate them. Especially ex who they was with back in the G. Yeah, yeah. Like I would never, man, I wish I would. This smoke and put a CD out. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no nigga done fuck me over more than broke, but that's still my bro. See, that's my flaw. Yeah. If I love you, I love you. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you, when you, when you crossing me, stab me in my back, I guarantee I'm somewhere else loving you. When you lying on me. And I ain't talking to you in a minute. Don't matter. I guarantee I'm somewhere else loving you. Valuable people. I feel bad for all valuable people. See, I'm valuable. I had low self-esteem. Before I talk to you about them and blame it on this person, I'd rather talk about the parts of a person that don't get spoke on. I had low self-esteem. Anybody rap that came on your show and talked about their low self-esteem before? Nah. You know why? Because including you, you feel as though if you speak on having low self-esteem and insecurity, yeah. you have been brainwashed to believe that that makes you weak. See, I fought with Kid Cudi though. He know he talk about that type of shit. Yeah, but Kid Cudi ain't from motherfucking the yeah, South. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm just saying, like, he's talking See, about the subject, the subject matter. In the South, but it's we not oh, It ain't going to work in the South, though. Yeah, I'm going to tell you something about being in the South. The South will breed the man's man. Yeah. Southerners, Floridians. First of all, I'm going to keep, keep this a book. My Florida is the most... Florida is the last real place on earth. This is where our slaves come from. If that's what you choose to say. I can say that because y'all said it in the album. On the, uh, Florida's the last <laughs> place, bro. And, and you know why? You ever notice? Why on Florida? You know when Kelly first popped out and DJ. Ross was, DJ Kelly first popped out. Yeah. Ross was on his run. Well, Miami was looking real good now. Yeah. I'm talking about the boys got some people out there. I'm talking about, I'm talking about as a whole. Mm -hmm. Clyde's over here in Fort Myers. Yeah. You got, uh, what's the lady name? Nick, my back, pussy, and her back. Uh, Kaya. Kaya. We got Trina. We got Trina. Uh, oh my God. So they got some good lineage, right? Shit, daddy. Why do you think Florida has yet to receive the Crown for the new place on the, for the new spot, like like A, yeah, like A. I think it's coming. I think we 
come, but they ain't got it on lock though. So it's like, you know, we slowly, you know. But so let me look like you think that it's coming and you think Well, that okay, let, let me put it like this. It's already here, but everybody didn't catch on yet. Alright. Let's talk. Let's talk statistically. Ricky motherfucking Rosen. Yes, sir. Ricky Rosen is one of the what I could, first of all, we have a Sean Jay talk on the other guy. If you're just not tuning in, I'm Sean Jay. I am uh, God's favorite person. Don't worry, he told me. He said he wasn't going to say nothing to you about it. He didn't want to hurt your feelings. So, look, I feel like Florida, Florida is going to get manipulated out of being the top spot. And I'll tell you why Georgia and Florida cannot compete with each other. I got it, this one. You can't compete with Georgia and Florida. I got you. Everyone else, we cannot compete. See, Florida loves Georgia, just like Georgia loves Florida. Correct. We are the two. It's a lot of brothers. So let's make this shit a family, okay? Okay. I got an East Coast brother. But he East Coast, they used to have access to all these designer clothes and all the fly your shit before we did. So they act bougie when we go to see them. They act bougie. This yeah. is how we are coming up in this life. As a Southerner looking at you New York people, act bougie with them. Yeah. Well, California, we don't know too much about California itself. Everybody seems to love Dickies and Chucks. Mm-hmm. And they gang bang extremely hard. This is us growing up. Yeah. We don't dislike nor even think of, but we know the New York was, uh, my New York cousins treat me like I'm fucking Barney Fife, because I say bite and they say bat. Yeah. Now, but Florida, Florida just as fucked up as Georgia. They talk just as bad language as we do. They fuck it up just like us, and it sounds great to me. Oh, man. Listen, Florida was like old school. With big rims and dunks, and they they got different hair. I think that subconsciously, Georgia and Florida love each other for one reason. We got a lot in common, but we different, and we each like each other's pussy. We like. Oh, what's his name? Uh, my little partner, Dirt Banger. That's my little brother, Dirt Banger from Jacksonville. Yeah. So dirt might got the big dookie what you know Dread. yeah, you know what I'm saying? That shit wicked. it. But that's Florida shit. Yeah. I see niggas down in Georgia biting Florida shit. I love it. You copy or you copy it up. You copy it up. Yeah. Huh man. Who say that? Huh man. Jacksonville. <laughs> you been oh, there too man. you been there too fucking long, man. you know that. <laughs> Yeah, who gonna wear clothes? You know what I'm saying? The shoes. Yeah. Wu Tang used to think they started wearing clothes. They thought they were the only one wearing them. I'm thinking to myself, they're called Havana Joes in Jacksonville. Yeah. You got to have your pair of Joes now. You ain't got. You might have missed that area. No, I had that. See, so <laughs> Duval is different than than Miami, and just like Atlanta is different than Albany. Y'all think y'all been, I don't know, y'all think this shit is sweet. Y'all got like fucked up. And I'm, if you think that, like people used to see the film, uh, we had a fun, we, like you got to think about it, we a bigger group than they actually knew. So they think I'm supposed to be buying this bitch doing what they doing right now. Hey, I wish you was a film, I've been all been in right now. A motherfucker was on, what's that show where they be sitting on the porch? The, uh, the, uh, what, what they do? A motherfucker said, film, uh, Fucked it up for Auburn and Georgia. I ain't get mad because none of that shit. Dion shit don't make me mad. That was a Dion shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, it's Dion shit. I, I, I know of the, the people that was on the porch that day. I don't know them, but I know of them. So if they saw it, they saw it. Whatever, whatever, right? But here's the thing: if the, if they think it's fucked, I don't, I don't know. Either way, that's not even what I care about. They be really fucked. What's sad is. How they perceive it. Every nigga 
in every video right now they're doing what? What they doing in videos right now? Say that the, the intro or the, the, the interview. They're so holding the, money and gun. And pointing guns. No bitches in the video. Oh, ain't no bitches nowhere. If you do see a woman, she's so brainwashed, she got she doing the same thing. She going to end up screwing you. <laughs> this is what I don't understand about. Popular society. This is from a nigga that used to want to hang with y'all, man. I used to want to be in a popular crowd. I used to want to be a popular kid. I thought y'all cool ass people had this shit figured out. This is the thing I don't get though. The fans have more control over the niggas with the gun than they know they got. I seen fans saying, rest in peace, King Von. And me, myself, I'm thinking, you help kill him. Okay. See, I can speak like this because I ain't never helped kill a motherfucker. I never had my dick hard because I heard a disruptor. You know how y'all go be, oh shit, he, he, well, I know he's going to be talking that shit now. I don't, that shit don't entertain me. That's why I can't battle rap. I love it. I'm, I, man, I be going to battle rap, but I know I'm going to beat shit. I know I'm going to fight you. Yeah. I'm going to be ready to shoot your mama shit up over that. You know what I'm saying? I got them. Yeah. So right now, somebody watch this, and they'll be talking about me in the comments. Not realizing, yeah, you talking about me, but what if I had a shitty day? Yeah. And I just had a shitty day, and I just happened to go through my comments and see that. And I Googled you. You might want to see where you live. And I need to let out some aggression. And I just hit your little stupid ass, and then not the Uber. Who won? Yeah. A comment got you killed. But it's safe right here to talk about a man. Right here. First of all, rest in peace, King Von. I hate that. But what I'm saying is, right now, you got niggas with pistols that don't deserve to have no pistols. Just think about that, bro. You got niggas with choppers that are scary. That's true. A, a scary man don't need a stick, bro. Shit, that probably bro, you ain't got, got it. Listen to me, bro. You got bitches going to take their flat ass to the doctor, coming back with a fake booty. And everyone pretends that booty ain't fake. And now she has a new life because the, the, the her shitter is bigger. <laughs> so we should treat her different. Yeah. She used to fuck on the air mattress. She got a new butt now, though. She can pretend she didn't fuck on the air mattress. Okay. He got an AK-47 now. We used to slap him at the bus stop and take his goddamn shit from him. Yeah. He got an AK-47 now. And he running behind another nigga trying to Make this other nigga really believe that he ain't no pussy. He's gonna kill somebody, bro. That's the whole game right now. So, how you feel about that? Like, do you even listen to like the new artists? Like, do you listen to Kodak Black, Trippy Red? I love Kodak Black. I actually think out of all these young niggas, I'm, I'm a street nigga for real. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I love Kodak. I get it, I understand. Shit, if niggas was somebody, I heard some, some niggas the other day on the internet talking about the advice they'll give Kodak Black. I'm listening to taking out of them. Man, you don't shut your fuck ass up. Yeah. Your fuck advice, you don't even know shit. You don't even know what kind of lifestyle shit is. You don't even know what the jungle like. That's what I'm speaking on now. Gotcha. I'm speaking on the fuck niggas that just got a pistol. 
sit down and push them, man. We look just like the motherfucking real niggas. Because they watch real niggas all day. And they pretend to be real niggas. Mm-hmm. Nigga like Kodak, I feel bad for him. Shit, if I could give him some advice, it'd be, they all pussy. So he fresh on. He came home. Uh-uh, from day one. Yeah. From day one. Him and that pussy night nice giant. Him and Jaguar. Yeah. I'm a different breed of nigga, man. Kodak say dumb shit, do dumb shit. If he watched it, Kodak, I love you. Boy, you say some dumb shit, do some dumb shit. Hey, me too. Love it. You keep going. Feel how you feel. Yeah. Feel how you feel. But he ain't like these other niggas. That's why I like vouch for him. I ain't, my opinion ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to get insta famous. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. Yeah. You already, I feel like you already you already been through it. Like even for you to not even at the magnitude he had. Yeah, man, I still I can't be on that. Okay, let me. I, 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 but I see nothing ain't for me. Oh, that boy on another level though. And he hates you. Yeah, they really afraid. White people want to touch him. They probably want to smell his hair. He he hates you. So see see the American man. He watered down. The American nigga, you watered down. I don't want to listen to your bitch ass. Yeah. You ain't a wrong person. And you, you, y'all niggas soft as fuck. The American nigga, man, you doing the metrosexual shit. Y'all niggas soft. Uh, you want the, the American man, the American black man, is divided. You got two. Two different type of American men, Kodak Haitian. I'm praying they don't never change what they got going on. Yeah. See, the American man was trying to be like the white man. So you got motherfucking real white. You got some real uh, coconuts. They look black on the outside, but they white on the inside. Yeah, they said, they said, they said, told me, they said, uh, I'm going Haitian, man. Black is a, a, a mindset. Bro. Yeah, man, you can be, you can be. I ain't none of that shit. Them boys better respect it. I'm a god. Don't call you, call me whatever, nigga. I'm a motherfucking god. I'm gonna handle you just as such. Yeah. Yeah, we got different views. Everybody got different <laughs> views than me. Yeah. Hell yeah, boy. So when I see Kodak or somebody like that, I know that. Why you think I'm gonna go through all that shit? He ain't shit. His influence ain't like that. You don't think the crackers hate, hate? You know why they hate? What do white people tell you is bad? Just think about all the things white people say bad. Voodoo. Voodoo is bad. White people say it. Right? That's mm-hmm. about 100%. So remember I said niggas in America split in two pieces. So let's say these are two niggas in America. Voodoo is bad. Uh, that's going to be the sweet. This the, this the good nigga right here. This house nigga. This the nigga that talk proper. Yeah. This is this, this your academics. This right here, this academic. This is also a fucking. This Russell Center. This is also Tyler Perry. Hold on, hold on. This Tyler Perry. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take Russell out. I'll take that man. That was man too good. This Tyler Perry. Yeah. This the nigga that ain't the nigga. This the nigga right here. He ain't the nigga. This is this Barack Obama. But then you got a motherfucker that. So that's bad. Voodoo was bad, right? It's only one place in the world known for voodoo, but guess what? That place was flooded. So it was flooded. Katrina. That's the only place the niggas in the world. Yeah. Because voodoo was bad. And that was the home. But y'all don't see that. No, let's go back down to. Hey man, didn't something tragic happen in Haiti too? Same shit. Ain't that a damn motherfucker that the same shit happened in Haiti too? Another place where they do voodoo. voodoo. See where? But they say voodoo is black magic. Who is the black? I'm just saying, like, when who is they? Well, it is known that voodoo is black magic. Christianity and all that stuff, that's basically like practicing white magic. I'm gonna right? pull a dick Gregory on you. Nigga, did you, did, did you hear me? <laughs> I just told you it's two type of black men. Okay. I mean, it's two type of black women. 
It's a real one and a fake one. Yeah. Yeah, man. This is him, man. That ain't you made from dirt. You made from dirt. That's what they say y'all niggas made for y'all nap mm-hmm. ass head, motherfucker. You made from dirt. Yeah. But see, it's soft dirt right there on that beach. But see, that dirt in the desert is a little tougher dirt. But then there's some dirt in the mountains. That's some tough ass sand, man. That dirt's tough, man. What kind of dirt you made from? Shit from the desert. You from the desert? I'm from the desert. Oh, you from the desert. All right, now. You might be able to go to water. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But them two types of everything, bro. Them folks faking it, bro. Who you think real? Shit, I don't know. I got I to gotta meet somebody to Who talk to. Who you like? I fuck with uh in the game right now. Shit. Uh oh. It's a black man say shit. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> man, I got. Let me see. I listen to all type of music, but what you mean like who I fuck with? I listen to Trippy. You know what I'm saying? I listen to. You listen to Trippy Red? Y'all listen to Trippy Red? For real? Yeah, I listen to him. I never met a person that listen to Trippy Red. That's fly. Yeah, I listen to you know I listen to all type of music. If it's good. I like that. I'm not a bitch to do world, though. Huh? Bitch to do world. No. Nah. Oh, yeah, Juice World? Yeah, I fuck with Juice World. Like, I've never heard but one. I fuck with Cuddy. Like I told you, like, I fuck with Kid Cuddy. But see. I like, I, I heard but, Kid Cuddy. I mean, Kid, I don't know a song. Oh, I Day know and know night. Day that's not too right. I didn't even know that. Day and but night. But see, know. know what we talking about? I'm different. I, I, but these are all probably people are outstanding. Because yeah. I didn't even know. What's the boy name? I never said his name right. Triple X. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Extension on it. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that boy could rap, rap, rap. Yeah, that boy. That did. motherfucker could rap. I did not know it. Boy, a woman put me on him, bro. After he died, I, I miss out on a lot of artists because sometimes it's like I can't. But it's like we talked about earlier. It's different type of niggas. It's different type of. I know it's hard. It's hard. It is. Like, like I'm from Duval. Like we really don't. We listen to Boosie. Way be like we listen to all hard music, but I just grew out of that shit and started going to yeah yeah yeah. Duval gangster man. My yeah, we don't like listen Duval to. Nobody listen to that I, shit. And, and this sound again, bro. I don't even qualify to talk to nobody. Everything I sound like I hate. Like Duval, I like Duval. Duval is my nigga. If they stop being everybody else, they'll realize the entire world trying to be them. They be talking like young boy. Stop talking like young boy, bro. Be yourself. Say what y'all say. I'm not even turning it up. And to me, I'm from the home of Southern, below the Mason Dixon, swag, sauce, flavor, dressing. Yeah. You think that now? Listen, bro. It, the nigga that go to school dressing can't dress better than the pro ass nigga watching him dress. The poor ass nigga now been a watching the nigga that's on the dress. He know if he had that chance to goddamn put that shit on, he had that shit on. Yeah. I'm like, I do me, I wish I had it. I had a lifetime to think about it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would have worn it with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Never be enough for me. But hey, Damn. Man, but see, do all gotta come to that too. Do I, I'm not putting everybody in there. Yeah. I'm just saying, I see it. I see. One of the most talented places in the world. I'm talking on the phone. I'm going to talk about Seti. Like, yeah. Seti, he one of the artists that he got his own swag compared to, you know. You two tight niggas. Yeah. What make me like niggas? It got to be a nigga. I ain't impressed by a nigga that was, he just watched everything. And he going to tell y'all everything he saw. That is so cool. That's great. When the newscaster come with that camera, you send him over. But I like the person that was going this way, that shot at him some shit, mm-hmm. that really went to jail because he was trying to hustle with some shit. Yeah. He was trying to sell him some. He was trying to get him some money on it. He really been out there in these streets. Yeah. Now he trying to do music and get away. That's who I like. A lot of niggas don't make it out of Jacksonville. I know that. Yeah. What's the boy name? Congratulations to that boy, Fulio. Yeah. He just got a deal like some. I, I just heard somebody say that. Yeah. I'm glad he got one. Shout I know a lot you. of niggas in Jacksonville that deserve deals, but not to overshadow his accomplishment. Congratulations to Fulio. Yeah. 
Shit, what's the other boy? Osiris. Call in. Oh, 24 COVID. Oh, you talking about, uh, you talking about, you talking about, uh, damn it. You talking about beatbox, you talking about beatbox. Spongo. Yeah, Spongo, yeah. Duval, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's actually good. I'm proud of that. You take him in for it. See, y'all niggas, that's the difference between me. Y'all ain't happy. A nigga from Jacksonville came here for it, and he ain't kicked nobody ass. He ain't have to do no beating ass shit. Jit, young, too. Yeah. This man got a whole, that's what we're hard on, huh? And I hope. The whole world, shit's not. Shout out to Pooh Shiesty. You a bad motherfucker, Pooh Shiesty. You made the whole world start talking about that goddamn stick talk for real. Yeah. But Tyson, we have been like that every day of my life. They been, one thing that got a bitch to bang me. Yeah. Well, Tyson, we have been doing it since. Come on, bro. Take it back with, uh, you say you, um, uh, so I ain't never rolled in Jacksonville and nobody caught and it wasn't no good. I'm just saying you Six. said you, uh, you, you knew Mob Boss, so, so you say so y'all y'all relationship started back. Listen, bro. We gotta go back to that real quick before we could Listen, bro. Cause he like I, a legend in the city. Shout out to Bobby. Bobby was real Bobby was a real one. He was that. They were scared of that jig. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, but they were scared of that jig. I know, like, jig, I know the nigga, boy. Yeah. Yeah, I can't get shot out to my home, boy, because my people really be in motion. Mm-hmm. They active. So I can't really sit on no shit and be, because I won't play like that. I got, but what I'm saying is, everybody on your dick, Jacksonville, motherfucking Florida, Duval, everybody on y'all dick. They all acting like they live that life. I swear to God, they all acting like they live that life. But y'all really live that life. Don't be saying none of that shit. Guess what? I've been in Jacksonville 20 years. It's not lit. It's never going to be lit. So if somebody in Jacksonville talking about some shit lit, yeah. kill them. That shit <laughs> lit. It's not. It's something else. <laughs> this shit all, hey, this shit all the clubs down. It's only a few of them be the Oh, no, no, no. I don't mean that. I mean, them words don't fit. Oh, yeah, you smart. Though. Okay, okay. okay, 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 okay. I got you. I thought you smart like what we do down there. It more real killers there, bro. They ain't gonna kill you, bro, out of respect. Bro, there's some cut dope shit going on down there, bro. Shout out my boy. Man, listen, shout out Murder. Shout out Young Cad. Shout out motherfucking Lakin. Shout out Flo Rock. Man, shout out to D-Ready, man. I love that boy right there. Real hustler. If you ever in motherfucking Jacksonville, go record with D-Ready. Please. Please. It's, I know you ain't you ain't really been to a place to you avoiding people. <laughs> if you ain't avoiding nobody there, you ain't been enough. I know snitches down there. I know real niggas down there, bro. Burt Music, man. That's what I told you about. Yeah, all right, yeah. I'm behind Burt Music. Burt Music, man. I couldn't even, I can't even do the interview without talking about Burt Music for a second. Change your life, man. Because them my brother. We 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 different. I can cuss all them. Man. All them will cuss me out and say goddamn well. He gonna cuss me till that. But you can't come in there. So you be, you, so you be on the west side. You fucking with Burt Music got on the west, so you be out. I'm from 45th, man. No side. 45th, 45th, no side. Oh, we gotta say We gotta say no damn. We gotta say no damn. Come on, man. Well, we, uh, see, you ain't from. Who man's is this? 45th, man. Who man's is this? Hey. You talking about 45th? See, you gotta know. say no. See, I, I want to see if you knew. Bro. Yeah, the fuck. I'm from. Bro, I'm the project, baby, bro. Yeah. Listen, I feel uncomfortable in the white folk neighborhood. <laughs> he thought I had to say Mark Creek. You know how long Mark Creek stretched? I had to be some critic. Nah, you 
just let it be known. It had to be stigma. That's like saying kid knife. Yeah. Nah, I mean. Gotcha. Well, in Duval, somebody asked where you from. I ain't gonna. They gonna. I'm gonna tell them. No question, though. Duval love me all around. All these places we just named. Oh, yeah. I don't have no arguments, bro. I don't. I don't do. I, I, I truly love Jacksonville for the simple fact. Man, the folks that let me be me, bro. I used to hear it though. They used to be like, yeah, um, no Sean Jason, yeah, bro. yeah. They used to say it all the time. I think they respect the fact that, like, I, don't, I ain't a flex. Yeah. I can have 50 in my pocket and I'm gonna be acting like the same way I'm acting now. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. Now, when I get my TV in a couple of weeks, y'all, I'm gonna be on my shit. I'm gonna go and talk to me. Ain't no good with your command. Don't want nobody to talk to me when I get my TV in. Like, uh, uh, plies. Nah, I don't, nah, nah, nah. I'm like, nah, I'm gonna get fake teeth. I'm gonna get fake teeth. I don't understand. If I'm gonna get fake white teeth, give me some time. That's just me, though. But if I, have, if I get white teeth, I just have to get them. Because I want all of them pulled out. Get them all out. Like, get all them motherfuckers. And give me bites. I don't want nothing. I want diamonds on my bike too. That's just me though, and I'm 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 still young. No matter how old my my body get, I'm still young. I ain't the regular, the average forty two year old nigga. You know what I'm mean? saying? Mm-hmm. Like what you what you what? How, do you feel old? Shit, no, nah, not yet. I don't have an age. I don't. I'm weird. We ain't even like. I don't do the normal shit, bro. You know. I don't do shit like, I don't sleep at night. I don't ever know the day of the week. She a doctor. I never know the day of the week because it don't know what's happening. You be moving too fast. I advise you be like that. No, no, no. You move too fast. I move slow. Okay. You age because it's a reminder to you. You know that? Did you know that you only age? Did you know that the oldest people in the world don't look like it? No, that's not me. You got to be my oldest. You think I'm lying? No, I don't look, look it up. One time I was talking to somebody who was talking about the Today Show that come on in the morning and they always get old people on. Yeah. They this person years old. If you look at one of them, we was in the debate and we looked at it and all them people, they don't even know how old they really was, bro. They, they like, if you're 100 years old, just think about it. 100. Yeah. The person that used to tell you happy birthday, they did. Everybody else did. There's only a few of y'all left. Oh, shit. You, you, I mean, everybody, you 100 something years old. You really think you up this bitch saying, no, you doing what I'm doing. You ain't looking at me like you did. Because if I'm looking at the clock and I'm 100, I'm going to know how. I know I can die damn near. How old you is? Damn near. I'm damn near dead at every time. I'm finna know. I'm 113 hours and 46 seconds. 47 seconds. 48 seconds. I'm gonna know how old I am. Yeah. The fuck don't know how that old they were, man. Oh, shit, old oh, folk, oh, man. You old in the mind. That's why I like young niggas. Yeah. Top artists in Jacksonville. Top artists. Who are the Jacksonville artists that I know? If I don't say your name, I apologize. But these are the people I know. You said you know Tokyo? Tokyo, I never met them, but I like them. You see me up on the West, too. Come to my West sometimes. I, I like them. I like them. She may. See, when you look at a motherfucker, you got to say whatever you want. But motherfucker be watching this at home and say I'm the ugliest thing living. Like, but do I embarrass? The city. No, hell, fuck no. I'm a fucking brilliant person. You listen to me, you get to know somebody to be totally honest and informed. It's one thing to be one. You ever seen a bunch of real ass stupid motherfuckers? I ain't him. I'm solid, but I'm a motherfucking intellectual bitch. Like I got it, I'm on my shit. And I know I'm on my shit. But when you start looking at artists, man, niggas is dumb. Okay, back to Kodak. Y'all think Kodak dumb? That nigga's a fucking, that nigga way smarter than he's supposed to be. Lil' Baby, he way smarter than he's supposed to be. So you can't think that. You can say what you want when you Kodak for one reason. Y'all white shit crap is as it was. 
Got it. Hey, if that was the case, rich nigga would be doing it all the time. Nobody in my get no opinion respect, bite their tongue. Get no respect, though. Nobody bite their tongue like a rich person, boy. They don't get no respect, man. Kodak oh, said what he want for the simple fact of uh, he know they pussy. He probably can't say that because y'all don't accept it. But see, when you that, like me, man, y'all, ain't nobody punch me, push me, kick me, push me. Hey, man, it ain't gonna never happen. Yeah. No, that may happen. Bro, look, bro, somebody might push me. But the repercussions of it. The I like myself too much to indict myself. Hell no, I'm gonna tell all y'all in the public. And I'm pussy. Y'all should be wasting y'all time doing shit to me because I'm pussy. I ain't been, I'm pussy. I am soft. I'm sweet. I'm, I'm like, you motherfucker. Hey, I ain't gonna make no diss, brother. None of that. None of that. Listen, what is it? None of that. Yeah. All I'm saying is, what is it? I ain't, I'm for all Georgia. Bro. Yeah. 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 I know I ain't the most richest nigga. I ain't the toughest nigga. I ain't the biggest killer. All I'm saying is, I'm nice as fuck. I was raised by Lewis and LeBron Johnson. Hold on. I got two See, brothers named not- Lewis and... Hold on, listen. I got two brothers named Lewis and Carlo. Oh. My grandma chick died. I got now. So I opened the door so for you. Now we talk about offline. Well, I'm going to go the fuck off on your ass. You know what we talking about? Yeah. yeah. You right. just like me. You <laughs> just a different. Right. We can do it different. <laughs> See, bro, real man. A dog know another dog. <laughs> pit bulls. So you don't think there's no pit bull out there? Y'all, y'all never seen a pit looking at a little dog bark at it, and he just be like, "Cool with it." Yeah. He respected. Go ahead, get off, little man. Get off, little man. But it was a threat. Like you a bitch ass dog if you weigh 300 pounds and you go over there and kill Scruffy and he just the fucking chihuahua guy. Right? You gonna be that <laughs> It's two type of people. Which one you gonna represent? What you think in your comments? I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna teach you on L. I'm teaching my boy. First of all, what I told you when I talked to you. How long did I talk to you? Shit, we talked for like three hours. Did I tell you anything wrong? I can't talk to no youngster or, or not even youngster because my way of talking people so sensitive. You don't feel something. You younger than me, right? Yeah. You get what I'm saying. If I say jit like I want to, shit, Dirk Langer, he a jit to me, but he a grown man man. But I knew him since he was a teenager. You know what I'm saying? So when I see him, and if I say jit, I ain't disrespecting him. Because yeah. I kid you about yeah. It's just it's some young niggas out there with heart, man, and they don't, they don't know what to do, bro. And I don't know how to get to them. That's why I even talk to you, and that's why they just did some shit. They cancel shit, beat my ass right now. Me and cancel fight every day and night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was something funny on the internet I seen. I just got to tell y'all this shit. This nigga said, I ain't going to lie. Every weapon been formed against me been prospering. Man, that shit was so funny, bro. I think about that shit almost every day since my father told me. Listen, it can't say shit be hurting me, but it's people in mind. Somebody out there gonna change the world. I'd like, like, Big Cho, that my bro, me and my cousin Cho died. Uh, that's why he, that's why he my bro. He ain't feel my big ride. He ain't showing big, big ride. Dirt by him, he's him. Cuz, kiss me out, kiss by whatever, right? Well, I know he loves me. You know what I'm saying? It's a different. Yeah. So, I look for, I look for them niggas. I look for them niggas, man. I look for people, bro. I don't know why. I don't know what I'm supposed to be here for or doing. I look for people who missing somebody in their life pure. I told you, I don't want shit from you, my nigga. You, 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 you smart, bro. It's supposed to be in this interview, right? How long it was? I done hit you up when you was on the west side. This was about 2017, yeah. 18. So you, that, therefore, you know, I don't yeah. fuck with people. I purposely stay away. Like, listen, 
How you think I feel? My mouth swole, I can't talk the same. My motherfucking head hurt. I got a tumor right there, that bitch hurt. I spent two years of my life, the past two years of my life, I kind of spent running from people. Running. Because I don't feel I have to explain to y'all what Oh, you all right? Are you? Did you even take these tumors out my head? Yeah. And then if they don't know, they got then I then I got to them. Oh, then I gotta explain that. Yeah, because they but because in the black white people get cancer, they get GoFunds and love and sympathy. Mm-hmm. Black man get cancer. I get called a crackhead. Motherfuckers think I'm on crystal meth. Yeah. I get all of that. I get all of that. Motherfuckers be talking about, man, you look bad. And I'm, I'm and ask them, what, what, what can I tell you, bro? I get that. And I don't even be tripping on it. I know what it is. I know a person can't do it. Yeah. A black man walked the earth and ain't got to save it. In my opinion, he lost his life telling us the truth about our physical bodies and what we should and should not eat. In my opinion, he died for that. He cured people with AIDS. And they took him to court. He cured people with cancer. And he took him to court. He cured the last group of people and ended up dead. Why do we still have chemotherapy? Money man. So you think I'm finna see they used to that. They they urging me. Go to the hospital and do this. That is fucked up. I ain't going to no motherfucking hospital unless I just got something that I got to get cut out of me. And look, I cut this up. Hey, am I capping when I tell you no? What is it? Come on, come on, let me get you the ass with Yeah. This ain't no cap. Yeah. Have you ever seen a human? Cut something out their face. Only me. You saw me do this. Cut something out my face. I cut a tumor because I felt it was finished, it was growing. All my life as a kid, when when when, when this tumor started growing, I only said, My brain itching. My mama them didn't understand. And I didn't even understand what the fuck going on, but my brain itching. Now I know. Shit is growing right there. Yeah. So you feel some shit growing in your motherfucking face. And I'm telling her, hey, what do you think I'm gonna do? If I go to the doctor, he said, I can't cut this out. It was spread. Mm-hmm. Go to another doctor, I can't cut it out. It's spread. Fuck them all. You know what I'm gonna do? Cut it out myself. And then what I did. Damn. Yeah, I had to. You trust the doctor? Not as far as I can throw Bro, you ain't, you, you ain't really this COVID shit, right? I'm glad you said this. Let me be, let me go on record to say this out loud. Because I never speak on this to nobody around me. I'm not one of them people like that. I know what I know. So, I'm going to just ask your channel this. And I'm going to just ask them a what if. You're going to do a what if. What if something else was killing you? What if the thing that was in you that was killing you was already in it? In you. And now it's just a matter of how they activate it. Let me get out what you mean. What if the stuff that they dump on your head in the can care of all day? Have you noticed they ain't been dumping can care of stuff on you? There's no need to dump it on you now because that phase is over. The stuff dumped on your head is called smart dust. Google it. Smart dust. But let's just keep going. Dump it on your head. Dump it on your head. Smart dust in your fucking clothes. It's in your mouth. It's in your food. You see it in the sunlight? You know, when the sunlight coming through the window, everybody has seen these particles. What if there was no Google Map satellite? What if you covered the motherfucking floor with this smart dust, and now you can see what every piece of 
terrain and person walking it is doing. Why? Because they ingested it, they breathed it, it's attached to their clothes. It's like an uh, MRI, we can see shit like a thermal type thing. Mm-hmm. Like this a- is what's happening to the world that you live in. You are covering this market. So, not even good. so listen, but no one's going to tell you. If you don't believe that you're covered in smart dust, go and get a piece of tape. I dare any human to get a piece of tape before you bathe, after you bathe. Get a piece of tape and put it on your skin and a part of your skin and peel it off. You're going to see Specks of dust particles. You're going to think you ash. See, you don't get what's happening to you. So, therefore, it can happen to you. You focus on the police and shit. <laughs> COVID. COVID 19. Now, mind you, me now, this is the first time you've ever seen somebody in the pandemic. You, yourself. Let's think of fact. You are required to wear a mask. You Google about the mask. You find out the mask is not only not going to stop that, if it was true, it's damn near killing you because you inhaling what you exhale. So it's already fucking you up. But you, let, but check this out. This is how this whole thing works. <laughs> Show you how it works. You let a motherfucker tell you to do it, and you do it. Here's something to think about. What if? <laughs> oh God, I got fired from that one. Now you have to wear it at a job. Because the corporation owners know what's about to happen. And because they know what's about to happen, they have to play their role. That's the only reason they make them wear it at the job, to make the public take the vaccine. Why? Check this shit out. Look. Smartness in your body yeah. plus vaccine. I can terminate you without touching you because if I, Sean has cancer and don't get to go to the doctor because they would have removed his tumors and therefore he had to learn what the doctor knows and he didn't just stop there. So Sean don't give a fuck about who going to Download his newest song because Sean got to learn about, you know, how many red blood cells is required to run a healthy body. Sean got to know with, okay, how many is too many white blood cells? Sean got to be a doctor. But in the process of that, Sean also knows smart dust is a fucking conductor. You have a light body made of energy inside of you. If that vaccine has a metal in it, and guess what we all have? All vaccination. Look up the word. It has metal in it. Once that metal is in your body attached to that smart dust, remotely, I can make you exit your body. I can kill you. Why? Because now you have a metal conductor in you. Plus the smart dust resonates. And then, so now... I can get you. You take your ass here and take a vaccine. Why should I take the vaccine? What happens if you don't take the vaccine? Gonna get, if you get the vaccine, you're getting the, you getting the um, COVID. Why? Because see, your body is the valuable body. It's hard to clone. Even the clones of you don't last long. You black. It's hard. Damn near impossible to do anything more. Check. You ever notice a white man? A black man can dress up and look like a white man. But a black man can't dress up and look like a black man. 
is impossible. Just think about that for a second. It's, it's impossible. Because melanin, melanin is not a solid, melanin is a constant vibrating and moving thing. It's always moving. It's always moving. It's the thing. Yeah. It just caught a motherfucker robbing the bank that it, acting like he was black, but it's not invincible. Yeah, the last one. Still knew it wasn't a black man. Listen, instead of COVID and vaccine, ask yourself this. Why would you tell me COVID? You want to talk about the real problem? Real problem, I'll give y'all something to think about. The Bible says the next time he comes, it says flooded on the first time, and the next time he comes, it's going to be what? Fire, right? What if it ain't done? What if they tapping the y'all and they know it's going to happen scientifically and acting like they are, are, are the reason that it's going to happen? What if they know to tell you to look up a thing called super volcano and you'll find out that everything is pretty much from 13 or along the coast of California, under the coast. So he says, Sean, how do you know fire is going to end? Do you all remember the California fires, the brush fires? Mm -hmm. Underneath the world, the lava is about to erupt. Scientists know it too, just like I know it. They know that it's about to happen. They know when too, they doing that math. So let's say, let's say under the ground you got Roots, 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 right? Well, the lava is reaching a high. The roots get the lava. That's why California kept having the fire. But they didn't tell you that, did they? All they could have said was the lava underneath us touched the roof and burned the trees and started a large fire. But they didn't tell you that for a reason. Why? They have to tell you pretty much a third of the population is about to die and guess what they're going to be? They're going to be in Florida. Why? Florida's the last claim land. Damn. Why? Because see, Florida has all kind of Dominican, Latin, every race is in Florida. Coincidentally, Florida would be the fucking new. If you got a motherland in Africa, that is a motherland. Then another motherland would be Florida, would it not? Doesn't Florida have every fucking race in the world there? For real. Nigeria. Haitian. Dominican. Oh, and then, then you go to Creole. Orlando, Miami, depending on where you go. You every <laughs> race, right? Yeah. I bet you when you get home and you look under, look up at the bar, look up the volcanoes under the world, you'll see that. What portion of the world is a third of this entire world, bro? You don't see? Yeah, a lot of people going to die to the fire. Cause they ain't gonna know. Shit, I gotta get my cousin up to go to uh, what's that little smart school in California? Harvard or some shit. He be on that type of time. I gotta get him up. Like, hey man, what's the, what's the lick on the stars and, and, and this volcano shit? They know what it is. You can. It's it's. I don't understand how people listen to the government. How people like believe. I can't believe nobody that be lying to me. And you popping that shit to me and I, 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 I can't believe it. I just don't understand. I don't know why y'all don't be on that. I think y'all, it behooves y'all to pay attention to the information that they're giving you. Yeah. The game is simple, bro. They control Coke and they always control Pepsi. It don't matter what it is, what you see on TV, just know this. And I won't. They control Coke and Pepsi. Coke, let's just say Coke is the one that they want. Pepsi is the one opposing Coke. So they provide two choices for you. And that's like Barack Obama and the next You feel what I'm saying? If if the man at McDonald's says, fuck you, kiss my ass. I ain't letting y'all employ you do shit. And then one day he quit. And another 
manna to come. That don't mean you still not going to have to cook your sandwich the same. That don't mean that you still don't have to clean the grill uh, at a certain time. Everything's still in place. All of the, uh, what they call it, the, um, the minutes, the rules and everything still in place. Yeah, man, they got an automatic, man, they, man, this way, listen, you, the face change, it don't matter what the fuck you talking about, though. You still got to make that waffle with the two meats and two cheeses. You got to have it my way, man. You get what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. But y'all don't see that. So y'all don't see that. They they, they both they both play on the same team. They when you, when you, you, you look up being spiritual on the internet and wonder why you can't be spiritual. They control that. Control the information. Yeah, that's like I, I was listening to somebody on the internet the other day say some fake shit. A motherfucker said, meditate and think of nothing. I looked at this shit, it was naked, laughing, that man got like 200,000 views. And I'm like, meditate and think of nothing? You just told them to do something else that they can never do? There's no way to not. Y'all niggas spend all y'all life doing shit, impossible shit. So... Everything y'all society based on does impossible shit. If you go watch the Bible, you the Bible is nothing but it's either gonna be Mother Earth way or yours. Mother Nature ain't gonna be me. If a dog, I'm walking my dog and he see another girl dog and he ain't in heat, he don't do nothing. But if my dog see a girl in heat and he isn't heat, he wanna fuck up. That's Mother Nature. You really believe, hey man, don't do, don't fuck, that's bad. Come here straight. A nigga, a nigga made me, gave me his dick. 60 bitches walk past me, my dick didn't, didn't get hard. But this bitch made the dick get hard. And you I'm like, supposed to take something's wrong? You got me fucked up. You just don't sit and think, my, like, how dumb is your God? That's what I'm asking people. How dumb is the God that you serve? And you're like, <laughs> My God, mad at you, you sinning. Y'all need to be knowing the word. You are seeing me. Restriction. See, if you say these sentences with the real word that it means, the real shit, they lying to you, but it's right there in front of you. They say we battle with the what? Flesh. What is the evil thing it said again? Flesh. What is the sin? The flesh. Why? Because the flesh restricts. It keeps a God. They got a story about a genie in the bar. But you're so stupid, you won't look up that type of shit. <laughs> so you won't learn that, damn, they picking at me and I'm the genie and this is the bar. Yeah, that, that's exactly what the fuck's going on. Yeah. You got melody. Oh, oh shit. Hold on, <laughs> let's, let's go deep with it. Hey, hey, a genie. Yeah. Is linked to the word. He who knows he's a genie is a genie. Us. Genius. Oh. Genie. Us. Genius. Because once one of us figures it out, the rest, he is I, I am him. I am my, my brother's keeper. You gotta be because the trick to all of this is once you get out the body, you realize you is me. You just don't know you me yet. You think you out this bitch doing some studying by yourself. You were perfect. You ever heard a story of Man the Pig? Yeah, I've, I've, I've you know I'm talking about Colin Barrow. Yeah, that's yeah, the exactly, same thing. That's exactly everyone, the man in the cage. Get out the cage, like you out the cage. You trying to tell us. I've been out the cage. You trying to tell us what's going on. We still in that bitch, looking at the cage. You're like, bro, it's shit out here going on. Y'all niggas looking at it. It's like, I don't understand how niggas kill people no more. If y'all don't kill people every other day, why y'all just don't go on and knock their whole side off? Like, that's what I would do. Kill the right people. No, I'm gonna knock all of y'all off. I'm gonna be like, this. 
If it's this serious, and I'm always going back and forth, give you, I can't get you, I'm going to get this nigga. Man, stop, man. Right? I'm tired of hearing the nigga rapping about a nigga. And then the next thing, you know, one nigga rapping about it, this nigga be a pack. Then he be a pack. Then that nigga a pack. I'm tired of hearing civilian. The nigga said that the you know that nigga was saying that shit. He said, man, he smoking too good. I'm like, nigga, don't be that don't even talk to me like that. You don't even know that nigga. So so what would you hate that shit like that? Nigga really sweet, bro. Niggas be thinking just because I'm smart and I know what I know that shit sweet too. It ain't even like that nigga and I hate that because I don't like people. What advice would you give like the up and coming artists that leave me alone? <laughs> I'm saying like a good advice, like to get in the game. Cause all you I'm, I'm, I ain't qualified for this. I, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I'm sorry. I apologize. I don't think I'm qualified. Yeah, Dick Gregory again. Yeah, cause I don't get in the game. Young nigga, the game chasing you. Okay. Shit, nigga, you want. The fuck you ain't wanna get in it for. True. If I was a young nigga, man, fuck that. I ain't no young nigga. I still gonna do it. I rap that my cock out. This is what you should do if you show a J. Mm. Anything that everybody do, I hate it. Pretty much I hate it. Be the option. If they say ops, that's them. They hate it. Why you hate it? Cause I don't, I, I wasn't, I wasn't saying ops. I, I didn't make that up. Yeah. I got other shit. I make up I'm my own. I like my juice. It sound cute. I hate to see that Jason and me talking up and like, cause Jason me he done left my spot. That's a hole in the wall spot. <laughs> so you fuck with uh Tampa too? You at right that OIG? <laughs> I fuck with Tampa too. <laughs> Oh, I, I like hole in the wall. I'm from there. Yeah. I'm familiar in that territory. I know I change when I go to Jacksonville and they think I'm sweet. I know that I done change and then I'm bum bum. If I ain't give shit no fun, I know they don't know. You don't know me. <laughs> See, I'm changed. But honestly, I can joke about it, but I'm saying some shit as a, as a, as a grown up. I ain't no old nigga. Don't be calling me um, all that shit. Listen, yeah, let me OG. Let me clear this up, man. Fuck that. I'm showing Jay. That's me. Thirteen. We don't matter. I ain't no unk because I don't know your mama or your daddy. I don't, I'm not none of that. It's some people that really might be your aunt. Let them have that respect. You feel me? I'm neutral. I, I, don't, I, I ain't playing like y'all playing. I hate to hear y'all. You you ain't tough if you come around me too much over your, your body count. Cause it's a kill on the internet nowadays. <laughs> Niggas kill you nowadays. Talking about how many bodies they got on the internet. You a sucker. That's straight pussy shit. Yeah. Man, come on, man. Hoes like man, show me. I mean, I, I didn't want to see who these niggas fucking. No, no, no. I want to know who fucking this boy. This boy gets some pussy. What kind of what, that's for real? What kind of bitch fuck this nigga? This nigga just talking about shooting that nigga through the internet. He he gonna leave and go do some funny handshake with his homeboys, and they ain't gonna slap his ass. I just don't get that. That shit commercial. See, killing folk, watching young and his ruin their life. Yeah. I don't like that shit. And it's either way, man. I, I know some I, let's say, let's say she, I know some real niggas. I know some Jacksonville niggas right now who I be with. Like, you know what? I I give an example. I always be worried about my little if this you have to understand, I ain't trying to long talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I gotta say it correctly. All right, it's like me. Little one, dirt, and big one. They all three was brothers. I don't know what the fuck they got going on, but we brothers now. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I, they, and they, and they know it. They're telling you to your face. They're telling my mama they my brother. Look, so we brothers. So, you know, they kids. 
I'm they like I love you, you know what I'm saying? I love your kids. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Well, let's say my partner hit him. He got a that's my little brother. Hit him. I be worried about what he gonna do to him. You get what I'm saying? I got you. What a nigga gonna do to him. Yeah. I ain't worried about what a nigga gonna do to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm worried about what dirt gonna do to a nigga. Yeah. I'm worried about what motherfucking Horace gonna do to a nigga. Because they all the type to stay out that game. You know, they ain't in your life. They ain't yeah. looking for your, they, they out the way, man. Them folks gonna run off bad, man. Yeah. Them folks, Big Cho over there, so you know Cho gonna have your ass on. It Cho, it Cho boot camp over there. You ain't gonna get that goddamn bag over there, well, way the other. And all of them on that. You gotta, but, you gotta talk on live, I gotta tell you. Them my look, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, but me, I, I don't, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of names I don't mention because yeah, yeah, I, don't know. I don't diss nobody, bro. If, if anybody feel offended in the sentence, I apologize, but I don't diss nobody. But you ain't do nothing. You said that wrong. You just but you, but well, people flip it, bro. I'm, people ain't used to talking to nobody like me. I speak honestly because I feel that. Yeah. Like, I, I can't wait to meet 21 Savage. For real yeah. shit. You bro. Yeah, yeah, it's just the one thing. Why? Hey, like, officially, Meet you and be able to be like, God, have you ever been around people? I'm the type of nigga I could be in a room with a lot of people and they right there, I ain't got no purpose to even be fucking with you right now. I see dog, but I ain't really fuck with dog. You know what I'm saying? That's just me though. But I wanna fuck with Sam. So but you feel like both of y'all speak speak real? I ain't heard him say no fugazi shit. I wouldn't put it in those terms that you said. But I just, I, I ain't heard y'all say no, like, and I'm in the streets. I ain't the rich rapper, so I'm in the, <laughs> the rich rappers can't tell you the story. Hey, you better ask them, ask the rich rapper, oh boy, they can't tell you shit like the broke rapper. Yeah. I can tell you more shit by there, but I know who can slap. I can make you eat. Cow. <laughs> hey, listen, I be really knowing, but what I'm saying is, most people won't say that. Yeah. I don't like people for their talent. I like people's character. Man, I be hoping somebody really, like, real ain't cool, bro. Real ain't cool, bro. Yeah. It ain't cool to be real, bro. Not in this world, bro. Oh, it ain't no. cool, bro. All the niggas that was real, they did something to him. So I be worried about my nigga, because listen, I ain't lying no bum ass nigga. No, sir, you not. No, kept. Hey, <laughs> look, this a young nigga, man. Yeah. This a young nigga, man. Listen, he young, bro. He young, bro. About right here, though. Every time I see him, it's whatever. I, don't, I want you to do good. I want you to do good. Yeah, <laughs> don't go there so wrong. I can't be your uncle. I can't be your bitch. Because they going to talk to you one way. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to show them. That's what I am. I'm going to show them. I'm going to tell you, like, hey, I'll, anything you be doing, you like, I'll follow you. Get on my ass. Everything. It, I want you yeah. to do good. Yeah. Like, big family right now. Swear to God, bro. Yeah, bro. Swear to God, bro. This ain't Rapper with Rapper. This is family. Man, tell them who you with. Listen, listen. I'm like, I ain't even know it. I'm still it's in that awesome. camera. But you really can look here, but. Yeah. Tell them what your name is, bro. Yeah, you man. Do it properly. Hey, look here, man. I go by Furborn, you be like, top dog, like, lying in the jungle, you be like, first of everything, CEO. You know what I'm saying? I got the name Furborn, my dad gave me that. Not because I was the Furborn child, but it's just the top of everything, top of the line, you know what I'm saying? Like, top of the line of cars, luxury, you know what I'm saying? Furborn. You Furborn, you did, like, so you ain't gonna never hear another person like me when you, yeah. when you hear me speak, you know what I'm saying? You got That's it. What's going on. For the first time, I, I even met them. You know, this is why I said I can't get nobody OG, but look, I'm gonna do what I feel like. I can have two dollars in my pocket and somebody offer to do a song with me and I know you fake. I'm gonna sleeve there with two dollars in my pocket unless I rob you with me. Like that. <laughs> I'm gonna leave there with two dollars. I just ain't talking like that. Yeah. And I can have two dollars in my pocket and you my homeboy. Or I fuck with you. See, see, same way I did with you, you, dirt wrangler, big cho. None of y'all niggas can't pick to be my partner. I'm just keeping it real, bro. She can't pick to be my girl. 
She just think she don't know what the fuck nobody thought. The people at home watching this, you thought you had an option. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not even a human being. I picked you. I picked and fuck with you. I picked the fuck with him. I picked the fuck with dirt. I picked the fuck. Why do I pick? Because the people I pick, y'all so motherfucking busy looking at the fake motherfucker, them two humans y'all was talking about. Yeah. God made me where I always spot the other one. I just spot the real shit. You spot the cool accent. I see before it <laughs> happened. Yeah, I told I knew Goo Goo Walk. Shout out that boy Goo Walk. I knew he, what he was before he did. Yeah. When I first met him, how he was with me, I knew what it was. Gotcha. Got it. Shout out that boy, Got it. He know it. When I can't see him, but I say, I'm proud of you. I remember your guy was pressing up his shirt, saying motherfucking password, bro. Mm. So a motherfucker on the internet can you out here all your shit about him? How y'all talk? How, as a journalist, let me ask you this. How do you talk about it? journalists? Oh <laughs> shit, you can upgrade it. You're a journalist. I am not. You're, You're in control of a platform. You have a media. I'm all motherfucking the other guy. The other wise guys. The other wise guys. <laughs> I'm on your shit, right? Yeah. I just never looked at it that way. You know why? Because society taught you if you love yourself and look at yourself in high regards, that that would be considered cocky, arrogant, less than humble. You need to just look at yourself like you are the shit, unfuck with it, boo. You are doing it, you gonna be what you are, and that means that you are already that. I was Sean J in the third grade, right? Because I'm still Sean J now. Money ain't that. If you can get it in this world, fantastic. Shit, let me have some. I said hey, I ain't have to hold it. I wanna have <laughs> No, I wanna pay me back, man. Look. Man, I, I, great people, bro, don't never know they great, man. And I just would want to be the person that tell a great person, that girl so motherfucking smart. She younger than me. I could easily be like, hey, man, I'm older than you. Listen to me. I could tell you about that I'm older than you. Listen, I'm older than you. I don't be on that. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, hey, I don't like that. You fucking up. I fucked up like that. If you don't listen, I ain't gonna beat you in the head. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna give you the back and wait on it to happen so I can get what you got. Don't worry, I already know that it's gonna happen. You you are, I'm, you I'm telling you what's going. <laughs> I'm telling you, shoot the nigga dirt bag up. <laughs> like that's my little bro. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. don't do it. Dirt one of those niggas that he head strong. Yeah. But as an old head, whatever y'all call me, an old head, whatever. I remember he had somebody on a song and he wanted to put a Jamaican on it. And I was like, I, in my head, I didn't see him putting the work to do to get the Jamaican. Yeah. I'm an estimated gentleman. He one of my people in my life called like my entire love. I'm an estimated He really got that motherfucking He killed me. Yeah. I told him. Y'all don't know how to say I was wrong and you ain't gonna listen to me. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I got you. Love somebody like that today. Love them enough to let them be right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I knew you was a, a different person. Mm -hmm. And then when I talked to you, I see, and you got a little swag about yourself. You didn't care. Well, you're doing good. You don't ask no, no fed questions. What's this motherfucker? <laughs> What's his name on it? Oh, Vlad. Vlad <laughs> TV. Vlad go see the president. Vlad right. be like, yeah, so where's the murder record? But Vlad don't give a fuck. Listen, man. I ain't asked where you. <laughs> Vlad don't even be on the screen all year. Yeah, so how many times did you shoot him? Where's the. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you said you dumped the murder weapon. It's like you're talking to the police. That's who you're talking to. Right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, right downtown, he about to get sent out the interview. They about to light you up. What you oh, thought, son? Well, 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 Vlad, when he can you bam your ass. I like how you rock, though, bro. You, you, you just, 
what I told you. Everything I told Young Pong, did it make sense? Yeah. But see, that, and that's, I think the hard part about like the shit I got going on with the wild guys is we just have a conversation. Like, it ain't even like, it ain't it ain't like no real interview. That's why I, like, I only see myself as a journalist. The average people, I, the average people don't know they self enough to fully talk. So the only thing I can tell you is just push the push the question and keep them because the average person don't know how to be their self. Yeah. Because it come with consequences. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to them now. One lie since I've been talking to you, man. And there will be someone in the comment talking shit about me. Yeah. It's just inevitable. But that person will be in the comments talking about me. Attempting to gain yeah, five right. minutes or whatever. Like nowadays, I think all y'all should pay attention is do you think they will be celebrities in 20 years? Hell no. Nope. <laughs> I'm running out right now. Like, I I can understand if a bitch don't want to talk to me or not. Hey, I can understand if you don't want to talk to me. You know what? <laughs> What? Crazy. I'm spoiled. What you mean you spoiled? I know what I know and I know I know it. I'm not tricking. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> doing none of the stuff that I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. If I can't teach you nothing, I don't want to talk to you. I'm not dick infatuated. I been man. Listen, I use my dick. Well, do you use your dick enough? Probably not. Look at it. And he like, he like, so you know, the bro trying to. <laughs> this is his music. We always fucking in hey, his music. That's it, bro. This nigga don't fuck. Anything I say in my music, real true. I know it, bro. Tell me everything, though. If I, if I said that, I did it, I swear to God. This, he's a bitch who will fuck. He's gonna fuck. Me? Bro. At that age, you wasn't no bitch who will fuck? It's like a black question right there. <laughs> bro, I said that. You snapped me in, bro. Come on. That's a black, dog. That's a black, right there. Hey, hey. Look at my girl in the back line. I'm gonna end it with this, though. I want to end with the last question. She know, though. I want to end with the last question. So, do you remember how it was being on set with the All I Know video with CeeLo? You know, they had Ricky Smile on there. I think they had Shawty. I was right. Ricky who? Smile. I was my cousin, bro. Me first cousin. I'm cal- my mom Kiri smile. Yeah. My grandma Yvonne smile. Renee smile. I don't though. That's, That's crazy. actually true that I don't. Yeah, I was high. Do so you don't? No. I was like, uh, I don't remember Peace. Was it like, was T.I. Um, supposed to be on that video? Cause I know you had like a remix and he was on or some shit. What? Uh, not for the video because of the time constraints. Yeah. But I did want him on the record because I heard him before y'all did, mm-hmm. and I liked him. I always liked him, and I fuck with him. Like, like you, you know that. I, I, I fuck with him, and I fuck with you. Same way. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. Same way, <laughs> same way. I'm not, man. Yeah. I liked him, and I fuck with him because I felt like you know he was dope. Yeah. Can I say something for you, little cat? Go ahead. Bro. Hey, for one, shout out Bird Music. That's first. Two, shout out my shout out boy Porn too. All my Duval people, I know too many. Dreaded, I love you, Dreaded. Hey, Rose Royce, I love you, Rose Royce. Them good people, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Hot Rod, them good people, man. Nigga Matt, them good people, man. Young Cash. I talked to Cash the other day, right? But look, mm-hmm. I can't tell nobody what to do, I ain't trying to. All I'm saying is this, I sure hope y'all hit y'all man so so y'all family can breathe. See, if you kill and he kill and y'all got to keep killing each other, I know y'all got y'all reasons. I ain't knocking you gangsters. I ain't knocking nobody. I don't care what side is whose side because I love them all. For real. I'm yeah. fucked up out here. That's why I be so quiet. I got blood friends. Pyro friend, Dow Moody friend, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I got Phil friends, yeah. you know, rolling 60. I'm talking about a different sex. You heard me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got, Tell hold on, for the world. I got, I'm from Albany. I got some of my friends. My cousin a rattler. Mm. You don't even know what a rattler is, but, but you don't want to bark up that tree. Yeah, shit. <laughs> That's crazy. 
I'm just telling you. You don't even know what the fuck a rally is, right? Mm-hmm. All that shit these other niggas be playing by. Where I'm from. Them boy gonna die behind that they shit. They gonna die right? behind that shit. My cousin yeah. that, right? So I'm looking for, I, like, we can be, man, shout out to my boy, hot boy. Shout out Guala Gonzalez. These my people. I ain't what I'm not supposed to. I don't give a fuck who don't like me. Like a nigga want to come and hate me because I don't like because I love somebody. Yeah. <laughs> me and Hot Boy first too. He better, he better act <laughs> like he's behind me. Bad at his ass. He know what it is. That boy know what it is. Me and him the same way. Bro, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what y'all want. I don't know what your favorite rapper want. Bro, I ain't out here acting like I'm tough. Yeah. Tell me. I ain't Everybody lying, fuck me ain't no pussy, bro. I'm just going to die by my respect. Everybody around me ain't no pussy, bro. Yeah. This is a nigga named Big Nard when he see me. <laughs> Big Nard's my favorite rapper, right? Yeah. I say that in all my interviews. I always do that. I tell y'all, I go get a nigga named Big Nard. Nah, Big Nard the one taught me to come up with that shit fast. Yeah. And yeah, I seen a motherfucker one time write a classic song. That bitch already classic. I seen him write that bitch in like six minutes. Like, brrr, while I'm talking to you, <laughs> hey, when did that bitch did that bitch? And I said, that bitch was like, hey, now time, I, I didn't even know it was like that. This nigga's hard. What I'm trying to tell you, what I represent, ain't nobody proud of it. And ain't nobody gonna scream it. Everybody that, I don't, I'm not, I know rich niggas. I feel bad for my bitch. I, I ain't rich. I ain't gonna never say I'm rich. Fuck it. I didn't know how to chew up better than the average person, so I really like small because <laughs> I be like checking people out. And I ain't flashing. I just hope that one day, bro, somebody like like what I wanted to do, I don't want to do it no more when I was back. You know that you ever wanted to do something and you don't want to do it no more? Yeah. I used to want to try to explain it. Like this a man you understood or something and you couldn't explain to me. Hmm. Like but a, somebody could come and I could put it out in your for you and show you, go look it up. You'll come back and say, you told me. Supernatural shit. You ever see somebody that do shit? You ever see somebody that get turned. That should scare you on it. That should sound funny on it. Not to my I don't to my age. Oh no, they did. This yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That what you find? We in this all was <laughs> I yeah, ain't like it. Platinum, bro. I gotta, I gotta follow them. I gotta follow them, young nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah all right. And they lit. This yeah. is just all this shit. This is what I tell you. I'm finna get up out of here. Quavo Shotter. Yeah. Please say Appreciate the shotter, man. Listen. Yeah, yeah. I gotta say no. I gotta say Timmy Dan. I gotta say Four Got It. You know what I'm saying? I gotta say my boy Rocco Cash that got out of How about him? Shout out Red. Shout out all my people, man. Shout out Kayla, motherfucking North Coda and Kayla. You know what I'm talking about? She rock with me. Shout out motherfucking. Just all my folk. But y'all stop being so dumb, man. Niggas dying over nothing, man. Niggas ain't. Niggas ain't. Come together, man. We really, we really, bro. We really pussy, because we killing each other. Niggas ain't even know what the fuck going on. Niggas ain't even know what the fuck going on. Niggas ain't even know what the fuck going on. Niggas ain't even know what the fuck going on. Niggas ain't even know what the fuck going on. White right hey, ride with my city, bro. I've been ride with my city. And y'all, y'all goof ass niggas, stop acting like y'all really out here in their action and be boosting that shit up online. If any nigga on to my own line, to my smoke another nigga or smoking this and that, that nigga fake, man. That nigga pussy. They respect the dead, nigga, or be dead. That's just what it is. That's all I'm gonna say. Sean J, welcome to Thirteen Flow. You just Google me, bitch. Hey, that's all I tell you. I got way, way my way. I got one more thing to say. Cause I did say, you know what I'm saying? Rick smiling my cousin. And I'm just say that cause everybody think cause I just, I know people think in the interview. I said that to say I need recognition for that. I actually dislike my cousin. I hate him. I ain't gonna lie. Cause of my past, he don't like me. You know what I'm saying? And he always talk about this shit every time I come around. So with that being said, I need no recognition from it, you know what I'm saying? I'm my own man, I'm gonna make it by myself, you did. Say fast, nigga, you already, yeah, you did. got to tell that, that I would've told that. He know what it is. I don't need no recognition from Ricky Smiley, you did, you did. Yeah, he ain't want to be I'm not, I'm not one of them. Hey, ain't that sad? Hey. You can't even say you could, and I ain't now without a motherfucking 
in life. You, I, I need no recognition, bro. 